Hey, I'm trying to design a sporin for a kilt that I'm making for my dad. And he lives out west and likes um, cowboy type things. That, um, the kind of cowboy culture they have out there. And so I wanted to make him a sporin that was incorporated a horseshoe. So I went to a local tractor supply and got this one. I like the, uh, I can't remember what it's called. It has this ridge here, for I think for more traction or something. Anyway, I thought that looked cool. And so here I've drawn out a rough draft of, rough draft, a rough sketch of what it, what I think it might look like. Um, so this part here is supposed to be like a sheriff's badge. This will be uh, some normal tassels like a... This will kind of be mimicking a dress sporin. Um, the front part will be red fabric like this. The sides will be a brown fabric. This part here will be a brown leather. This part, the tassel itself, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to use the red fabric, but I'll have to see. This will be a piece of brown leather sewn. And then I'm not 100% sure with the sheriff's badge. I think I may make this part here, the positive part, leather, and then this cut out just be the red fabric that shows between through. I'm excited to work on it. It'll be kind of challenging because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to try to, I want to try to figure out a way to connect this horseshoe with a, a piece of metal in the back so that it's hinged, so it opens kind of like a coin purse. Um, so I'll try to put a bar of aluminum across here that'll be behind the fabric and then it'll have a part that sticks out that becomes the hinge. So, anyway, we'll see how that goes, and that's the first look. Hey, so I've been poking the holes in these pieces of plastic. The plastic um, is intended to stiffen the front and the back. So here's a purchased sporin. And um, if this back part isn't stiff enough, the weight of the front will cause it to flex right here. So this one itself is probably a little bit under it probably should be a little bit stiffer. Um, and likewise, if this front part isn't stiff enough, it can kind of flex this way. Um, especially like when you sit down and stuff. So that's what these are for. I got this plastic from jugs that carried cat litter. And I think it's the same plastic that milk jugs are made out of. So I poked the holes around the edge, uh, 
because I'm going to be sewing fabric on one side and leather on the other side. And as I'm heating it and poking through, it seems to have joined these two together. So that's kind of what these other holes are for, is to try to make a join in the middle. I'm sure it's not like a really strong bond, so I was considering, considering sewing in between here in case it ever breaks loose, it'll still be held together through with uh, some kind of string or thread. Um, or I might just poke holes everywhere to try to create a bond all over. And I need to poke holes up here anyway for this part uh, that, uh, that holds the, where the chain attaches. So I, thought, I just thought that was interesting that it seems to have bonded together pretty well just by poking holes all the way through. I poked. So what happened is I tested the edge of this to see if I could separate it. And it made a really strong bond. So I figured I would try to... Um, poke more holes thinking that would kind of weld it together in those spots and besides right oh I already mentioned that right here is where the the holder part goes it stays really well as two pieces so I'm pretty excited about that and you can see it's nice and slightly flexible but mostly rigid one other thing I forgot to say was the side that I poked through the front of it made these little raised bumps and at first I was thinking I'd go through and try to sand those off or something which if I had like a power sander that might not be a bad idea but the back side is actually pretty smooth so I think I'll just make the smooth side the outside of the sporn and the rough side be on the inside which I don't think you'll notice very much there so that's my solution hey well thank you for joining me for part one of this project Please come back for part two.